wax a surfboard. This is the way I find most efficient. Wax that's temperature suitable. Think of this kind of rectangle spot where you want wax on your board. You're going to draw crisscross lines. So start one direction, lines about a centimeter apart. Doesn't need to be perfect, but all within that rectangle. Just going back and forth. And I'm actually in the sun at the moment. It's probably best if you're not in the sun. So I've done all the one direction, now starting the opposite direction. You don't need to be pushing hard. You're just kind of laying a base of crisscross wax. All right? And I'm actually gonna stop filming this and move into the shade so the wax isn't melting in the shade so the wax isn't melting. I've gone crisscrosses this way, crisscrosses this way. I'll probably do two layers of that. I've gone two layers of crisscrossing lines. All this way, this way, this way, this way. Not pushing too hard, just kind of on the edge of the, the wax, right? And you'll see some wax starting to build up. So after you've done about two or three layers, I'll do another layer that's perpendicular to the board, again about a centimeter across, and you're going to see that bits of wax are starting to build up, little bumps on the board, and that's exactly what you want. So perpendicular lines, crisscross lines first to build the base, then we're going to start going circles, and again pushing lightly. Just go slow with it, and these little circles that you're starting to draw on the edge of the wax are going to start building up little waxy bumps. That's exactly what we want. So take your time. I'll do little circles up and down, clockwise, counterclockwise, kind of both, and just be patient with it and keep at it until it starts building up enough waxy bumps to where you can get some stick, some traction on that board. So there you go, fully waxed surfboard. Can you see those wax bumps? I use about half a block. Crisscross, crisscross, lay the base, some perpendicular, and slow light circles to get those bumps. I'll also kind of wax up the rail and on the side, but on the top of the rail, about six inches past that kind of rectangular square, just for some hand grip for duck dives. Um, so wax your board, right? Be patient with the circles until you get those good bumps. I'm in G land. This is what I'm riding. It's a town and country 6-1 quad setup. So 6-1, 19 and a quarter by 2 and 3 eighths. There's probably about 30, 31 liters of volume in this. This is a bit of a step up for me. Um, it's about 5 to 6 foot. Yesterday was a little bigger, so I was surfing 6-6. Six, six, that blue kind of turquoise board that you saw in the video at first. Um, so yeah, this is a buzz town and country out of Byron Bay. I've been surfing this a lot around Indo. Um, round and pin, kind of a straighter outline, but throws a bit more volume in it rather than length. My standard short board's about a 5'11 with about 27 and a half liters or so. Um, so there you go. That's how you wax your board. Check out surfstrengthcoach.com. If you got questions, post them, subscribe on YouTube, all that good stuff. And uh, hope this was helpful for you. Cool?